Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I got the unboxing of the 2013 MacBook Pro with Retina display. So the top one, this is the actual first MacBook Pro with Retina. This is the one that came out last year. And I figure with the new one coming out, the one with the Haswell processor, it's time for an upgrade. This cost me about $2,600. This is the i7 model. The packaging with all Apple products is very simple. Um, back over here, it's, it's a 2.3 gigahertz quad-core i7 with 6 megs of cache, 16 megs of memory, 512 of flash storage, retina display, 15.4 inch. Now it's got the also the Intel Iris Pro graphics and one reason why I purchased this model is because it has the NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M graphic card. Now everything else, it's pretty standard. Probably the only other big thing that changed is it has the Thunderbolt 2 ports and also has the EO 2.11 AC. So here's the main unit. But let's go to this last. So first let's say what else came in the box. We have the MagSafe 2 power adapter. Then we have the extension cable. So with this, with the Apple power adapters, they're always universal. With this one, it inputs at 100 to 240 volts, and outputs at 20 volts at 4.25 max amps. So it came with. Let's see what's in here. It's, it's been about a year since I last opened a MacBook Pro. A quick start guide. iTunes, yada yada. Important product information. Apple stickers. I have like a whole collection of these Apple stickers now. And this little, what is this? It's like a, it's like a little microfiber cloth. It feels like a screen cleaning cloth. And this part, this does not come out. It's like, it's like glued to the box. Now for the main unit. Let's take a look at the outside of this, this new MacBook Pro. So that was the back, here's the front. On the right side we have the SD card reader, we have the HDMI, and the a USB 3. This SD card reader is able to read SDXC cards. Here we have the MagSafe 2 for the power, a Thunderbolt 2, two ports for the Thunderbolt 2, another USB 3, and the headphone and microphone. At the bottom of the Macro Pro we have these vents. So the vent on this side, there's one on the left side, there's also one on the right side. So this is where they intakes the air and then it shoots the air out from the back. And also on the bottom we have these non-slip pads. Aside from that, everything else looks just nearly identical to my previous MacBook Pro. Now let's power it up for the first time. Okay, I'm going to choose so many of you. I'm going to choose English as the first language. US, and keyboard, enter my Wi Fi information, hit continue. Okay, I think I found it. This little graphic glitch over here. Where it's supposed to say looking for networks, it just says OK for networks. Hmm. See, there's a bunch of uh, graphic inconsistencies right now. The graphics are just overlaying top of each other. Well, let me sign in first. Wow, there's a lot of uh, graphic glitches that I can't even seem to enter anything right now. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to say don't transfer for any information right now. Wow, this is so weird. This is a brand new computer. This is probably running Mavericks, but... 
everything is just all graphics, all the, the, the options. It's all screwed up. I can't even enter my Apple ID. Hmm. Alright, let's see if I can start from the beginning again. And choose US, US keyboard, pick my wireless. Okay, pick enter my wireless information and next. I'll transfer at a later time. Hit continue, sign with my Apple ID. Allow iCloud to find my Mac location. Do I agree? Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. iCloud keychain. Now I'll set this up later. I'm going to register. Start using my Mac. Things just power down. What the? There's something weird about the. Uh, to use English for the main language. About this map, because I just went through all this. Huh. Wow, it's like I go through all this again. Yes, I accept. This is the second time I'm doing all this and it's really annoying. See, now it recognizes that this is a second account because it won't let me type, type in my name. It automatically appends it with, with a 1. Something's off with this this computer I got. I said set up later. All right, let's try this. I right, register my Mac. Let's see if it works this time. All right, this time I'm in. Now it seems like I can use everything on on this machine now. Everything's all set up. I can access maps. I can access just anything I want now. And I haven't seen any more of that software glitch. Stay tuned, I'll be making more comparison videos between this year's MacBook Pro with Retina versus last year's. Well, you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching, Walker Hamster. Bye.